Hey, Scott here. Today I want to talk to you about a do-it-yourself solar power station. This is something that if you go on YouTube, there's all kinds of people building these things. they got great ideas. And the one that I really hooked onto and, and really liked a lot was on a channel called Fish and Stuff. And I tell you what, that guy is really entertaining. I, I'm going to put a link to his video up above here and down in the description. Fish and Stuff. And uh, I, what I did is I made this do-it-yourself solar power station exactly as he suggested to do in his channel and he also had links to all the different parts however i decided to make a little bit of a modification so check it out so hopefully you went over to fish and stuff and found out how he made his do-it-yourself power station and what he did is he used this ammo box from harbor freight and you'll see that i actually did do the same thing I used an ammo box from Harbor Freight and uh, had the thing running and uh, it worked out really well. But here's the thing. His plan included the solar panels, the solar charge controller, the power inverter, and basically what it is a, a battery charger to charge up the battery that's in this uh, power station. Again, these are all vital parts of this, makes a lot of sense. However, this ammo box, it does accommodate space for this and this. But when you want to use this, that doesn't fit in the box. When you want to use this, that doesn't fit in the box. So I've decided to remake this thing using an Apache Case 3800 series from Harbor Freight. And here's how I did it. So I bought the exact battery that he recommended on his channel. And I basically modified this box to accommodate everything that was in that box. I laid the battery down. I left the bottom piece of foam in the uh, Apache box here. But I cut out the foam to fit the battery. So now the battery is actually held in place by this and that top piece of foam. With this setup, now I can take my power inverter, which I could not store in the ammo box, and it could get tucked in over here. One way or the other, it fits in there, okay. Also, the uh, battery charger here can get tucked in over here. The solar control controller, which stays in the box all the time, can get tucked in over here. And then I also have a couple extra fuses. I also have some of these desiccant absorbing uh, pouches toss a couple in there just to make sure everything's dry the cord for the solar panel can just lay right on top there everything's loosely fit no big deal and then we take our solar panel because of the protrusion on top here the connection we're gonna tip that like that and I also, you see, I left a piece of foam in there. The whole thing closes down. And it's all so contained into one unit. But it's all the same, just like that unit right there. We've got on this side the connection for plugging in the battery um, regular EC outlet battery charger we also have the connection for the solar and that is my do-it-yourself power station again go over to fish and stuff and get a list of all the parts that he used to make his and make it the way he suggested or Come up with your own idea like I did. All right? 
Thanks for watching.